Hey, yo, bro, it's Isaac, and we're back for another video. Yeah, now, down, hopefully, down, this down, puts me in a better yeah, mood. Down, After watching yeah, Patriots. Yeah, the news. And, and of course, Curry win. Of course, of course, of course, the Red Wall had it said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have never, I mean, no. I have been ashamed of a lot of things that have happened in this country. I can't say I've ever been ashamed of our country until today. I didn't vote Damn. for Trump, I'll tell you that much. So, that's all I'm going to say. So, it wasn't, I'm assuming it was a surprise, though, that you won that. I just told you what I'm saying. I ain't vote for Trump. I prefer, prefer not to elaborate on it, but. Uh, I didn't vote for him. <laughs> the presidential election last night. You were, you've been kind of vocal about it. I'm curious. Just yeah. your reaction to it. Um, uh, kind of tough, you know what I mean? But uh, at the same time, you know, uh, you, you have to move on and move forward. Uh, I think the toughest part is, is watching the whole experience uh, with, with Lil Chris, you know what I mean? And my wife, my daughter was asleep, but her. Uh, you know what I mean? Just explaining to him what's happening and, and going through this process with him. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, it's, it's part of, you know, America, the freedom to vote and stuff like that, and we move on. How, how, was, how was he able to process it? Was he able to process any of it? Can you tell? Yes, yes, I could. Uh, he's a lot smarter than I was at seven. <laughs> um, you know, he knew how many electoral votes California had, Florida had, and stuff like that. So, uh, damn. Shout out to his teachers. <laughs> yeah, for real. He, he didn't get that at home. But, um, uh, I don't know. It puts everything into perspective. You know, that you're, you're a parent, you're a dad, uh, before, before basketball, uh, any day. And well, I hope he's a good president. I have no idea what kind of president he'll be because he hasn't said any, anything about what he's going to do. We don't know. Um, but um, it's it's tough when you when you when you want there to be some respect and dignity and and there hasn't been any and then you know you walk into a uh, a room with your daughter and your wife who have basically been insulted by by his comments and they're distraught and you walk in and you see the faces of your players most of them uh, who have been insulted directly uh, as minorities. It's it's sort of shocking. It really is. And uh, man, I wish Steve so I, uh, Kerr was we, we any coach but the Warriors. Like I've literally so, fucking loved this I nigga, know, bro. Even though he's a Warriors just coach, I've loved this nigga. But if process, he was any coach just, but the Warriors, man, fuck. Kind of like he, every so time he opens it, his yeah. mouth, he just spits shit it's straight out the Bible. I think I thought we were better than this. I thought I thought you know the Jerry Springer show was a Jerry Springer show, but. Watching the the last debate, you know, Trump would make a crack at Clinton, and you could hear the fan, the fans, the stands, ooh, like oh no, he didn't, yo, yeah, he did. like yeah, he did, yeah. This is a presidential election; it's not the Jerry Springer show. Right, that's what I'm. This is this is my rant. I'm, I'm disappointed in the lack of respect and dignity that's involved, and uh, that's the way it goes. Um, you were pretty vocal kind of about your thoughts about all of this like, yeah. through Twitter and stuff. How did, how did last night go for you? How have you kind of processed stuff? And, and can that type of thing be a distraction? Like, I mean, if your mind's multiple places? No, it's not a distraction. I'm just, I was just more shocked than anything. Shocked that, you know, things played out how they played out, but shocked that it even got that far, to be honest with you. But that's some of America, or most of America who's doing the voting. So I guess it's people have spoken. How do you kind of move forward? How do you process all of this stuff? I just hope for the best. I mean, mm -hmm. just hope for the best. That's all. CNN reported that Trump won with two million less votes than Romney had when he lost to Obama in 2012. So that means a lot of people didn't vote. A lot of people that voted for Obama didn't go out and vote. Right. And how important is? I mean, if it shows that voting is important, can you talk about that? Yeah, it's it's very important. I mean, when Kanye said he wanted to be president, it was I was laughing like he's going to be president. But, but <laughs> I mean, the way things have played out, more power to him. Seriously, like this is anything is possible. What are we gonna call it Jeezy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He'll have a slogan. He'll have a good term by then. Poteezy. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I mean, seriously, when he said it, when Kanye said, it, I'm like Kanye, like it was a joke, you know. But 
anything is possible. The message was loud and clear last night. I don't think there's any room. No, nah, for real, Kanye. Nah, with, Do with Donald Trump speaks. becoming president, uh, with no experience, it definitely the makes the Kanye the Kanye West shit more possible. Although it's probably about, about black people, about Muslim people, about women, about just about every sort of uh, political group you can name. Folks agree with his positions, uh, and you can't deny that because folks voted for him. So I think throw that on the table. So this whole uh, fairy tale about some post-racial, post this utopia that Obama supposedly created is all it's all bull. I mean, that's the, that's bottom. That's the bottom line. When you He's look been at what facts. say from last night, um, this nation is is not moved. A thread, you know, in terms of um, its ideal. He, our he's been fast. Uh, be where we are now. That we took a guy that I don't care what anybody says. I'm sure they have other reasons and maybe good reasons for voting for Donald Trump. But I don't think anybody can deny this guy is openly and brazenly racist and misogynist and ethnocentric and say that's okay with us we're going to vote for him anyway we have just thrown a good part of our population under the bus and, and i have problems with thinking that, that this is Stand where we're in 2020 country, you know and, and it's tough on this group right here we noticed it coming in everybody was a little quiet i you know, I thought, well, maybe the game the other night, and so we talked about that, and Aaron Bain said, I don't think that's why everybody's quiet. I think it's last night, you know. I mean, it's just, you know, we have said we want, I mean, my daughters were the same way, three of them. I mean, they know. Our society has said, no, no, we think you should be second-class citizens. We want you to be second-class citizens, and we embrace a guy who is openly misogynist as our leader. I, I don't know. I don't know how we get past that. I mean, you know, Martin Luther King said what? Like the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. I would have believed in that for a long time, but not today. It's been a long way away from justice right now. And what we have done to minorities and women in this election is it's despicable. It's despicable. Damn, he's spitting facts. He said, I'm legit worried. <laughs> Door citizenship is lit. Of course, Aisha Curry had to say something. Of course. I don't, I'm having a hard time dealing with it. This isn't your normal candidate. I don't even know if I had political I don't even know what his politics are. Other than, I don't, other than build a wall, and I hate people of color, and women are to be treated as sex objects and as servants to men. That, that's, I don't know how you get, I don't know how you get past that. I don't know how you walk in the booth and vote for him. I understand all the problems with the economy. I understand all the problems with Hillary Clinton, I do. But certain things in our country should disqualify and the fact that Millions and millions of Americans don't don't think that racism and sexism disqualifies you to be our leader in our country. I mean, we presume to tell other countries about human rights abuses and everything else. We better never do that again. I don't want to hear anything about our leaders talking to China or anybody else about human rights abuses. We just elected an open, brazen racist, misogynist leader. We keep our mouths shut and realize we need to be learning maybe from the rest of the world because we ain't got nothing to teach them. Damn, he's speaking hard so, fast. I, I don't know. Now it's just 
we've all got to find our own way to move forward. But that was, and I'm not even trying to make a political statement. To me, that's beyond politics. You don't get to come out and talk about people like that and then lead our country and have millions of Americans embrace you. I mean, I'm having a hard time just being with people because I'm going to walk in this arena tonight and realize that, especially in this state, most of these people voted for the guy. Like, shit, I don't have any respect for that. I don't. I don't. And then, you know, you, you read, like, how he was embraced by <laughs> conservative Christians, evangelical Christians. Like, I'm not a religious guy, but the hell Bible are they reading? No, no, I, I'm dead serious. What Bible are you reading? Fuck down, Trump. Fuck down, Trump. Stan Van Gutt is Stan with Stan. Yeah, yeah, fuck down, Trump. Okay, he is pretty yeah, fat. Fuck down, Trump. Um, yeah. Man, I can't believe he didn't. I can't believe he won. Like I, I literally cannot believe he won. I think a lot of people didn't think he was gonna win, just like me. Um, a lot of people were saying, "Oh, well, he won because people like you didn't vote." First of all, my state was a Democratic. California was Democratic, so my vote wouldn't have mattered at all. My vote wouldn't have made a legit difference. Number one, it's not like I'm in the Republican state. My shit's Democratic. Wouldn't have made a difference regardless. Hillary Clinton won in California. But anyways, bro, the bottom line is, I mean, I know Hillary Clinton fucked up. You know what I mean? She's got scandal of her own, but I mean, at least she's not racist. I don't know. I'm just hoping that with the fucking, since shit has to go through like two different branches, you know what I mean? Hopefully shit won't get too radical. Like the fucking bill, the bill or whatever he's trying to do to pass to make a wall and all of that, that shit shouldn't go through, should it? Like there's no way that fucking two different branches agree on that and that goes through. Like some of this racist ass shit shouldn't even go through. You know what I mean? So I don't think we should be super worried, but at the same time, I am worried. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have as big a problem with it as Stan Van Gundy, but I do have a problem with it. I'm like more like on the Steve Curry type of level. You know what I mean? Again, Steve Curry, let me push with the Warriors, man. But yeah, I have fun with this. My favorite ones were probably Stan Van Gundy, um, Steve Kerr, and David West off the top of my head. So yeah, um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to me. More ideas, Instagram, comment, all that cool shit. I would have been interested to see what LeBron had to say. I'm sure he said some shit on it. But yeah, I'm out this bitch. Wonder what happens when the NBA uh, team wins and they go and meet the president. I wonder if they're actually gonna go meet that nigga. You called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account. Only has Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. Your the Twitter cheer, account... the cheering for that, the cheering, the cheer. Why are they cheering?